Hello everybody, what's going on? My name is John Plays and welcome back to the channel. That was weird. Uh, my name is John Plays. Today guys, we are finally starting this series that I'm very excited to be playing. Today we're going to be playing the excavation of Hobbs Barrow, a point and click story game, uh, something like Fran Bow and uh, some of those kind of games. I'm very excited. Let's get into it. And let's jump into it everyone. All right, we're already in the game. <coughs> Somebody's already coughing. All right. I hope you're having a wonderful day, night, wherever you live. There's a gentleman here. Ah, Miss Bateman. Welcome back to Ticehurst House. It's been quite some time. Terrible weather this evening, is it not? Nurse Blaketon has had enough of me smoking inside. Makes her cough, you see. A bit of rain won't kill me, will it? You, uh, you mustn't be interested in me nattering on. Give my regards to your father. Nurse Blaketon is preparing his supper. You look pale, Miss Bateman. Do head inside. You'll catch your death out here. Man, we didn't say anything in that person. Man, the excavation of Hobbs Barrow. I'm actually excited for this game. This is one game I was looking forward to. It just got released a couple days ago. Um... But yeah, I'm really excited, so I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want another part. We'll base it with you guys. Dearest Mother, I hope this letter will reach you. I have spent these past years in torment, trying to piece together what remains of fractured memories. What I am about to recount to you will seem beyond comprehension, but I beg for your patience. I already love the art style of this game. Like, it's really good. I will endeavor to explain the events that led me to Ticehurst House that night. As far as I can recall, this whole wretched story started with the receipt of a letter from a Mr. Leonard Shoulder. Ooh, ooh. That's weird. The letter brought me to the isolated village of Bewley, deep in the moors. So we must be in this Bewley village. No station master in sight. I hope the village isn't too far away. I can't recall our exact meeting place. Mr. Shoulder mentioned it in his letter. All right, left click to walk, interact, right click to examine, to access the inventory and menu, move your mouse cursor to the top of the screen, left click on an inventory item to select it, right click to examine it. Uh, okay, pretty much some understood. All right, so right click. The tracks look quite untarnished. I don't think many trains come through here. We got a window. The post looks unattended. Got a door. A door of fine construction. Bewley, I have great expectations for this barrow. Okay, we can't go that way. I ought to read Mr. Shoulder's letter again. I can't recall the name of our meeting place. Hmm, okay. Okay, so this is the menu. I have six shillings and two pence. My assistant Kenneth is bringing more funds tomorrow. I don't okay. like traveling with too much money on me. Don't blame you, girl. Don't blame you. A gift from my mother. It bears my initials. T.B. Gotcha. And the letter. Dear Miss Bateman, I write this letter in the hope of pink or pink or like 
pinking, what? pinking your curiosity. I read about your expertise in barrows, and I understand correctly you are writing a book on them and the treasures they contain. I live in the village of Bewley, where a most special barrow can be found on the outskirts. It is rectangular in form and is certainly tall enough to stand up in the place. It is steeped in local legend and there is rumor of secrets to be found deep within. I hope you will not misunderstand me and find this letter intrusive. If you wish to visit Bewley and ex excavate the bar burrow, the barrow, I will be pleased to be your guide. Please send your response to the Plow and Fur Pl Plow and Furrow Inn, Bewley. I shall await your letter. You respectfully, uh, Mr. Leonard Leonard Shoulder. Dear Miss Bateman, marvelous news! I shall meet you at eight o'clock in the evening on the fourteenth of this new month at the Plow and Furrow Inn, Bewley. The inn has fine rooms, which you will find adequate for your short stay. When we meet, I shall tell you more of the circumstances surrounding the site, which is referred to locally as Hobbs Burrow. It is not located on my own land, but we will have no issues gaining permission to excavate. I wish you a safe journey. I must make my way to the Plow and Furrow Inn. Yo, this woman just came out of nowhere, guys. I swear she was not standing there a moment ago. Hmm. I swear she was not standing there a moment ago. All right, let's go ahead and leave. A path stretches off across the moor. How'd you like our weather? I'm quite accustomed to it. Okay. Let's talk about Plow and Furrow Inn. I'm looking for the Plow and Furrow Inn. Do you know where I can find it? Ah, young lady. Leave the station and follow the dry stone wall for around half a mile. You'll come to Bewley. Go straight ahead and you'll find the market square. The inn is to the side at square. Thank you very much. All right, let's talk about Bewley. What can you tell me about Bewley? Well, it used to be a thriving village. Not so much now. I don't spend much time there these days. Are you local? Ah, yes, a local I am. But I don't live in the village. Where are you travelling to today? That would be none of your business, young lady. Quite. Apologies. I wish you a pleasant journey. Well, at least we're nice. Though that lady's a little suspicious. A path stretches off across the moor. Uh, what brings you to Bewley? I beg your pardon? What brings you to Bewley, miss? Alright, so she was really curious why and where I'm going yet. Why should I tell her what brings me if she doesn't want to tell me where she's traveling? Um, for this first one, we're going to go a little uh, suspicious, like she's superstitious. Just a bit of sightseeing. Hmm. We don't get many of your type out here. My type? City folks. Curious young ladies. Not much to be seen in Bewley, if you ask me. You're better off waiting for the next train back to the city. I'll take my chances. Hmm. Can't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, see, I don't like her. That we gotta odd. remember her. We gotta remember her, guys. I don't like her. Alright, so now we're on... If I didn't let you guys know, this is considered a horror game. Uh, so, for f folks that are watching this, if you're not into spooky horror story visual novel kind of games, like Fran Bo, it was a horror game. Uh, I'd be advised it's probably not the game to watch. I'm just seeing what do we got. The exit, okay. All right. Got a crow. All right, what's over here, anything? We have a door. A humble dwelling. A humble dwelling. I know we can't go that way, because we gotta go this way. Got a window. This appears to be the forge of a local blacksmith. Perhaps this belongs to a merchant. The bucket has seen better days. The bucket has seen better days. The anvil looks heavy. 
Exit. A local dwelling. Quite an ornate construction. This was created with pride and care. A local cobbler. Why is that one barricaded? The building is in a dilapidated state. There's a barricade on that one and the windows. Quite an ornate construction. Anything else? Exit. Quite a fine building indeed. Sorry guys, we're just gonna observe everything. The plow and furrow. There we I are. I have a bit of time before Mr. Shoulder arrives. I should inquire about a room. All right, let's just see what they got this way. Anything over here? A small alley splits the inn and its neighbor. I should I should go inside the inn. Aw. All right. Let's see what this guy's about. Hello there. What's the young lady doing out alone in this sodden weather? Oh, I love them. Loving this game so far. I'm really liking it. So, we got some weird people in this village. Like, we got a weird lady that was out by the tracks in Bewley. Now we got this man that looks like he's kind of drunk. I'm heading to Plow and Furrow. Get out of the way, sir. You're drunk. What are you doing out in this weather? So... The question is, do we want to be just saying, hey, because we don't want to make people mad. Like, get out of the way, sir, you're drunk. It's probably not a thing to say. Um, we'll just be honest and say we're heading to the plow and furrow. I'm heading to the plow and furrow. Bloody good pub, that. It has the finest ales in the whole county. Oh, I'll take you there if you like. Uh, I believe we are standing directly in front of it. Oh, so we are. Listen. Yes. Give us a kiss now, won't you? Oh, oh God. You go chat. You can give him a kiss if you really want to. Oh, God. I can slap him. I have no time for this. It usually works with men. Uh, deflect the question. Perhaps he is married. Um, we'll go ahead and humor him. It's hard to refuse such an elegant offer, but I simply must go and freshen up first. I've had a long journey today. Of course, lass. Now, would you please let me pass? I'm getting soaked. Sorry, lass. Sorry. I'll come back to find you later. No, dude, you don't have to. What a buffoon. Oh, no, what a creep. We don't say buffoons here in America. What a creep. Man, those people, these guys look I awesome. should speak to the innkeeper about a room. All right, game saved. Let me just see what we got here. It's a crudely painted scene that appears to be of a biblical nature. Mm. A fine exemplar of inebriation. Oh, God. A rather miserable looking fellow. He's playing a board game by himself. I think it's Three Men's Morris. Never heard of it. Maybe you guys have, ooh. They are engaged in an intense discussion. A majestic animal cut down in his prime. The crackling fireplace is more welcoming than the facial expressions of the locals. Yeah, I'm not really liking the vibe of the Bewley. Like, I don't know what you guys think, but the vibe's a little. A pixie-faced peasant boy painted in a naive style. This painting shows a Rubenesque figure brushing her hair. Quite unusual to see such a sensual work in a room like this. A colorful work depicting a bashful knight. It is signed mm. N. Hamley. N. Hamley. That's an exit. A biblical scene of some kind. An angel is depicted looking longingly to the heavens. The innkeeper is a serious looking man. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, lass. How can I help you? All right, so I can end the conversation if I want. So I don't got to talk about this Leonard shoulder because I like how it says I can have a, uh, end the conversation. Let's just talk about a room. I am in need of a room for the night. Aye, we aren't short of those. One night, is it? 
I shall need at least two knights, maybe more. Aye, tis not a problem. Three shilling per night. That includes your dinner and tea. A fair price. I'll need that payment up front for the two nights. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How can I help? Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? Aye, I know the man. I'm to meet him here tonight. Can I get you something to drink while you wait? Not yet, thank you. Bye for now. As you were. Okay, so we already talked about a room. Excuse me, lass. Upstairs is for paying lodgers only. My apologies. Oh, uh, hold on. Do I have to, like, drag it down? How do I do this? This is payment for the room. Thank you. Can I ask for your name, lass? Thomasina Bateman. And will Mr. Bateman be staying with us tonight? No, I am not wed. <laughs> My assistant is arriving in Bewley tomorrow. Your assistant, you say? Will you be needing another room? Please. I'll keep a room spare. It's not quite as nice as yours, I'm afraid. Not a problem, sir. I'm sure it will be adequate. Kenneth is a man of inexpensive taste. Here's your key. Just go through the door to the right of the bar, then up the stairs. Room number two. Thank you. Can I help you with your luggage? No, thank you, sir. I can manage. I should go upstairs and freshen up before Mr. Shoulder arrives. So, we acquired a room key. So far, this game is really good, and I'm really actually into the game. Um, this is one game I was looking forward to and actually watching. Um, it is available on Steam if you guys are interested in trying different paths because there is different choices that you can make in this game. So I'm not going to try to talk too much because I know you guys are uh, interested in the story of this game and it's actually good so far. I do not need to use the lavatory. Okay, we just want to make sure we don't miss any goodies. This shall do nicely. Time to change into something more comfortable. There we go. I look pretty good. Ah, <sighs> much better. All right. That's my bed. My evening light shall be provided by this solitary candlestick. Ah, complimentary matches. Useful. No doubt the mattress is stuffed with itchy straw. <laughs> Got this. A decorative plate depicting a goat. We got painting. A painting of surprising quality. It portrays a rocky outcrop overlooking a vast moor. Perhaps a local landmark. Okay. A sturdy looking thing, useful to many a weary traveller. The wardrobe looks old, perhaps a hundred years or more in age. Wowza. A jug of water for drinking or washing. An empty bowl has been provided for washing. I think we got everything in the room. All right, let's go see this Mr. Shoulder, Leonard guy. Is he here yet? He is not here. Good day, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Note for your ear. I beg your pardon? I said there's no for you here, lass. Be on your way. Hmm. Charming. Let's go and talk to these people. Hello, sir. What? I'm waiting here for a man named Leonard Shoulder. Do you know him? I don't. Do you, love? Never heard of him. There you have it. Now clear off. Ah, you don't gotta be such a rude person. There's an old man. A curmudgeonly looking old fellow. I want to meet this guy. Let's see. Hello, sir. All right. Do you know a Mr. Leonard Shoulder? You're not local. You've come on that bloody train, haven't you? Bewley is going to dogs. Bewley is going to dogs. 
Introduce yourself. Uh, Leonard. Do you know Mr. Shoulder? That be none of your business, lass. I don't come to your city poking around asking questions, do I? Man just wants to enjoy his ale in peace. Hmm. Bewley. What can you tell me about Bewley? We're a proud community. I've lived here my whole life. Not much here to interest folks like you. Folks like me? Aye. I don't like this town. This town is so weird. I take it you are not enamored with the railway station. Bill is gonna be swarming with outsiders, like you. We don't want you coming here. It's as simple as that, lads. Why not? This is our town, our land. I assure you, I am not here to cause trouble. We'll see about that, won't we? I don't like the guy. I know you guys are probably mad, but I'm not introducing myself. Bye for now. I'm Cyril. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Cyril. Ta-da, lass. Hmm. It was a little nice at the end there, but still, he doesn't have my respect to tell me who I am. If he doesn't care about outsiders like me, well, I'm not telling you who I am. I do not need a lovely place. I will not introduce myself. Let me make sure he's all good. Miss Bateman, you've transformed. I feel far more comfortable in my outdoor clothing. You look like one of those explorers you see in the newspaper. I guess you could call me an explorer of sorts. I'm Stanley. Stanley Kemp. So we got Stanley Kemp. Pleasure Kemp. to meet you, Stanley. And tell me, I trust your room is adequate? Most adequate. Excellent. Stanley Kemp. Let's talk about Leonard's shoulder. Um... Let's talk about Bewley first. What can you tell me about Bewley? Aye, it's a quiet place. People keep to themselves, work hard. I look forward to exploring the village tomorrow. There's not a lot to see, lass. But St Edmund's Church is a fine building, worth a visit. Tell me about yourself, Mr Kemp. Well, uh, I've been the proprietor of this inn for the last 16 years. I worked as a drover all over the country in my younger days. Saved up me coin and bought this place. Hmm. It's a fine inn. Thank you. I often run short of ale, but my rooms are rarely full. We don't get many outsiders wanting to stay overnight here in Bewley. Hmm. Has Mr. Shoulder arrived yet? Still haven't seen head nor tail of him, Miss Bateman. Hmm. What can you tell me about Mr. Shoulder? What can you tell me about Mr. Shoulder? Aye, he's a quiet fellow. He only comes here to check his post. Yes, I've been corresponding with him using this address. Have you now? You found yourself an admirer. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> what business do you have with Lord Leonard then? Hmm, tell the truth, I have nothing to hide. Can he be trusted? I like how the game lets you say, you can take this path. Can he be trusted? I don't seem to have anything around Mr. Kemp. Well, if you must know, I am what some people call a barrow digger. A what? A barrow digger. What in God's name is that? Are you familiar with tumuli? Afraid not. Barrow is another word for tumulus, or tumuli in the plural. A profoundly interesting subject. You've lost me. I excavate ancient burial sites looking for relics. A barrow is traditionally a circular mound of raised earth enclosing a burial chamber. Oh, I? You're a grave robber. I am no such thing. Don't worry, lass. I've met all sorts in here over the years. I won't tell anyone. I assure you, my goal is more noble than petty grave robbery. What sort of relics do you find, then? Gold? Silver? Bones? Well, rarely gold or silver, but treasures, certainly. Ancient pottery is the most common find. I've been excavating barrows all over the country. I'm documenting my findings in preparation for my book. It shall be called Vestiges of the Antiquities in Rural England. Oh, aye. Very interesting. But what does old Leonard have to do with this? He sent me a letter in which he told me about an unusual barrow in Bewley, a site called Hobbs Barrow. I'm meeting him here this evening to find out more. I've lived here nigh on my whole life, and I've heard nout about a Hobbs Barrow. Hmm. Should we learn more about Hobbs Barrow? Are you sure you've never heard of Hobbs Barrow? 
Not in my life, lass, but I'll tell you something. The moors stretch further than the eyes can see once you leave this village. There's no doubt many a discovery to be made. Mr. Shoulders said the Barrow is well known locally, a place of legend. I'm afraid you're going to have to speak to him about it. Why are you interested in digging around in the dirt, lass? Haven't you better things to do with your time? I enjoy nothing more than the thrill of discovery, uncovering the past and piecing together our history. I inherited this passion from my father. Oh, a Barrow digger too, were he? Indeed. He would take me with him on excavations as a child. Does he still come with you now, on your own adventures? I'm afraid my father's been bedbound by illness for many years. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, lass. Thank you, Mr. Kemp. He is well looked after at a private hospital. Thanks for your time. As you were. Mr. Shoulder should really be here by now. I'll sit down and wait. Where on earth is he? What a waste of time this is turning out to be. Here we go, here we go. Evening there, miss. Not you again. I just wanted to apologize for earlier. It looks like you freshened up, but I know I'll be getting that kiss. You're quite right. I were a fool for how I carried on. I'm sorry. The drink gets a hold of me sometimes. Let's start again, shall we? My name is Arthur Tillett. Thomasina Bateman. What brings you to Bewley, anyway? I'm here to meet someone, but he has not arrived. His loss, if you ask me. Perhaps you know the gentleman, Mr. Leonard Shoulder. Oh, I know Mr. Shoulder all right. If I may be so bold as to say, he's a bit long in the tooth for you. The relationship is not what you're implying. I've never met him. In fact, I know very little about him at all. Get me an ale and I'll tell you all about the old sod. All right, should I give him an owl? One owl coming right up, he might have some useful information. I don't think you need another. The man is a liability. Must I really buy you a drink for this information? The cheek of some people. Let's go ahead and give him another one. One owl coming right up. Thank you very much, Miss Bateman. Then I'll tell you all about old Leonard Shoulder. How can I help you? A tankard of your finest ale, Mr. Kemp. Your finest ale? Oh, that's gonna be money. I should have just... There we are. Two pence, please. Thank you. How much do I got? This was the last of my money. Oh. Kenneth will be here tomorrow with more funds. I didn't think about that. Shoot. I got a key, an owl. Crap. I feel like I should have kept the money. Let's see how this turns out, folks. Please, Miss Bateman, an ale to wet me whistle. Then I'll tell you all about. Okay, we'll give you a drink. Doesn't that work? Here you are, Arthur. Thanking you. This guy's some drunk dude. Oh, that hits the spot. That does, lass. Now then. <clears throat> Old Len. Leonard Shaw. <laughs> really? Arthur? Mr. Tillett? Oh, for heaven's sake. The man is in a drunken stupor. No! I hope I didn't spend. Can I have a refund, please? Shoot. After one drink too many, Arthur Tillett has passed out. Mr. Tillett? He's not dead. Just very drunk. Wake him up. I would still like to hear what he has to say about Mr. Shoulder. Mr. Tillett? He's not dead. I would still... Hmm. I wonder... That won't wake him up from his drunken stupor. Hmm. Curious. I wonder what we can do with some of these stuff. 
I don't wish to give that away. What's gonna wake this guy up? How can I help you? May I trouble you for a glass of water? If it's water you're after, I just refilled the jug in your room for you. Thank you. Thanks for your time. As you were. All right, let's go in the room and grab the water. This may come in handy. Okay. Oh, what the hell was that for? <laughs> you passed out, Mr. Tillett. Oh, sorry, lass. Where were I? Leonard's shoulder. Hold on another minute. I'm making for a piss. Oh my gosh. This man is unbelievable. My dude doesn't want to tell me anything about Mr. Leonard. It feels like an hour has passed. Perhaps I should go in there and check on him. Yeah, it's getting dark. Maybe we should go to bed. I think we should. <laughs> but alright guys, I'm going to wrap this up for episode 1, part 1. I'm going to definitely continue this game. Um, definitely look forward to this, guys. The excavation of um, Bob, no, sorry, Hobbs Barrow. Um, I'm very excited for this. So far, it's really good. If you guys enjoyed, please let me know in the comments down below if there were other choices that I could have made. What you guys think of the game. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And if you guys are new and just joining, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Uh, I will see you guys in the next part. And either tomorrow or the next day. Uh, once again, thank you guys. And you guys have a good one. Take care.